Hey everyone, Zach here from Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a quick look at the Android app support which has just been released in preview for Windows 11. Microsoft announced this functionality back in June and it's now finally available for insiders to test. So we have it installed already here, so let's just dive straight in essentially. Uh, how you get this is you head to the Microsoft Store and you search for the Amazon App Store. Press install uh, and then you will find yourself with the Amazon App Store installed. And then from there you can tap it and that will boot up the Windows subsystem for Android and boot you into the Amazon App Store. And from there you are free to download any of the available apps within the Amazon App Store here. We do have access to the app catalog here. Microsoft says there are about 50 apps available in, on day one, but over time there will be more and more apps added at, to be available to download. So we are here in the Amazon app store. I've already downloaded a couple of apps here. Uh, one of them, of course, is Kindle. So if we tap here and search for Kindle, uh, it uses all of the sort of native system things. So if you're using a tablet, it will pull up the Windows keyboard, not the Android one. Uh, and you can see here I have Amazon Kindle installed already. Give that a second. In fact, you can even find it in my start menu. And if I tap on that, that will now open the Amazon Kindle app. And it opens straight away. If you have one Android app running in the background already, uh, all of the other ones should just pop up as if they were already running because the Android system is already running in the background now. So these apps just launch and I can click into one of these here and uh, begin using the app as you would expect. Uh, and it works just like that. And it's fluid and fast. And this one, as you can see, can be resized. So I can make it smaller here. I can make it any sort of shape I'd like and it works as you would expect, which is pretty cool. I also have another app installed here. I have Outlook, uh, which is another great app to try out and looks really good on Windows. You can see here, here's what the app looks like and I can full screen that and it almost looks like a native Windows app at this point. I can scroll through my list here, tap on emails and it works just like you would expect. I can... So you may be wondering, now that you're running the Android subsystem, what is your RAM usage looking like? Well, if we open up the task manager here, I can show you that. You'll see that this this process, the VMMEMWSA, is in fact uh, the, the Android subsystem running in the background, as is this one below it. So we have 1.7 gigs of RAM going right now, in addition to an extra 500 megabytes of RAM for whatever else is required. Um, so yeah, it, it's not a lightweight process. If you're just using this to read a Kindle book, it is a little bit overkill on your memory. But if you have eight gigs of RAM or more, it should be okay as long as you're not multitasking heavily with other things. 16 gigs of RAM as I have on this PC and you're perfectly fine. I'm, I'm not even using 50% of my RAM here uh, and things are working as you would expect, which is pretty cool. So if we open up the Amazon App Store here and quickly search for say Minecraft, I wanna show you what gaming is like. So I know that's gonna be something people ask for here. So if we install Minecraft, so there we are, we now have Minecraft installed. If we go into our apps list here, you'll see it right there. Click on that and that will boot into Minecraft for Android using the Windows subsystem for Android. Give that a second and we'll be able to see performance of running a game. And, this is, and Minecraft isn't an intensive game by any means, but still a good sort of look at how this behaves running through a, a subsystem essentially this isn't natively running on the device it's running through a vm it, it is is basically how you would describe that uh, let's create a new world here create new world so while the game loads i just want to quickly show you the task manager again we have increased our ram usage to 2.4 gigabytes now up from 1.7 so again this will obviously depend on what you're doing within the android subsystem here if you're doing intensive tasks like playing a game it will of course use more ram uh, which is why i suggest using this more on a device with 16 gigs or more uh, 8 gigs of ram you will get by but if you're multitasking within windows itself doing other things like running a browser or playing music and stuff you will very quickly run out of <laughs> memory so be sure to sort of keep an eye on that if you're running 8 gigs of ram uh, but devices with 16 gigs of RAM, I think you're going to be fine. I'm running, what, 50% of my RAM usage here. I have 16 gigs of RAM installed on this device. I'm running an Intel Core i7 1185G7. This is a Surface Pro 8, so, you know, latest device, and it's running, I think, running pretty well. Uh, but we are still waiting for the game to load. This does take a minute or two, uh, which is to be expected. This is running through a VM, of course, remember that. But now we're in the game here. You see that it works more or less as expected, which is pretty cool. Uh... Well, I guess I can't mine that because I'm at the spawn. So we come over here and mine this instead. There we go. Uh, pretty nice. And I can run around here and play Minecraft on a touch display, which is honestly not my favorite. I, Minecraft mobile has never been my favorite version of Minecraft. But hey, there you go. We are running around and it is working and it works 
uh, okay. Like I said, I don't really think this is designed for playing games. You may be able to play sort of lightweight 2D style games like Doodle Jump or Candy Crush or something if you wanted to. Um, but I think 3D heavy intensive games is not going to work too well through this. I mean, that said, you know, Minecraft is working fine. This is integrated graphics and Intel 11th gen, you know, like I mentioned. So I'm not, there's no, I have no complaints here, really. It is working as you would expect. It does work with keyboard and mouse as well, or at least it's supposed to. You can see that my mouse is working. My keyboard appears to not be. But hey, there you go. Uh, so it kind of half works. This is early preview. So of course, that over time, this will improve and whatnot. But as of right now, I think it's only really working with touch. Uh, but hey, there you go. That's uh, video games or, or 3D heavy intensive tasks through the Android subsystem. Works, I think, okay. So there you have it. Let's see a quick look at Android apps running on Windows 11. Uh, like I said, these apps are only really coming from the Amazon App Store right now. You can sideload apps, though I'm not really sure how to do it yet. Um, I'm sure it requires the command line or something or other. But once that's sort of done, you will be able to sort of install any APK you like, as long as it doesn't require the Google Play Store to function because the Android subsystem for Windows uh, doesn't have support for the Google Play services because Google does not allow that. Uh, so there you have it. Thank you so much for watching and we shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.